Forgotten Warships, Abandoned Warships, the SMS Bodrog. The SMS Bodrog is an Austro-Hungarian river monitor designed between 1903 and 1904. Her main armament consisted of two 120mm 4.7 inch L35 guns, one 120mm 4.7 inch L10 howitzer, and two 37mm 1.5 inch uh, anti torpedo boat guns. The SMS Bodrock is a teams class river monitor with a displacement of 440 tons. She had a crew of 86 officers and enlisted men, and her max speed was 13 knots or 15 miles per hour. The SMS Bodrog is famous for firing the first shots of World War I on July 28, 1914, when Bodrog and her sister ships, along with several other river monitors, opened fire on Serbian defenses in and around and near the city of Belgrade. Bodrog was part of the Danube River Flotilla. Bodrog served the Austro-Hungarian Navy from 1904 to 1918. When World War I ended, she was ceded to the new kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes, and then later the Kingdom of Yugoslavia in 1920. In 1941, when World War II broke out in the Balkan region, Bodrog, which had been renamed Sava, Sava had been scuttled by her crew on the 12th of April 1941 to pre prevent her from being captured by the Germans. In 1942, Bodrog slash Sava was refloated and recommissioned into the Navy of the Independent State of Croatia. Or Croatia. When World War II came to an end, or towards the end of World War II, in September 1944, the independent state of Croatia scuttled the Bodrog slash Sava to prevent her from being captured by Soviet forces. Bodrog was raised again in 1952 and served for another decade until 1962 when the Bodrog slash Sava was finally decommissioned for the last time. Today, the Bodrog still survives as the sole Austro-Hungarian river monitor of the team's class. She is now being used as a gravel barge. The ship has deteriorated significantly since 1962 when she was decommissioned. The ship in the last two years between 2014 and early 2017 has been more in the shallower areas of the River Danube by the Serbian Navy in preparations for potential restoration. But as of now, nothing has been done. And the ship is basically just sitting there rusting away. Rusting away. It's kind of sad to see the ship that fired the first shots of World War I sitting there on the banks of the Danube River and crusted and rust and sitting derelict but what do you all think I think the ship should be restored but at the minute it doesn't seem like the Serbian military really has it the highest priority at the time of today so yeah this is pretty much a World War I river ironclad or river monitor it's not really an iron class, it's made of steel, so. This is pretty much a World War One. No, this is a World War One river monitor that has managed to survive more than a hundred years after it was laid down. You know, it is sad to see the Bodrog um, pretty much sitting derelict and not really being used by the Navy in which she was designed to protect you know, Yugoslavia is no longer around. And Serbia really doesn't have the 
Or I, I don't think or I don't believe Serbia really has the time to really restore the ship. Let alone the finances that would that would be required to restore a ship that's over a hundred years old and that has been seen derelict since basically the 1960s. So, what do you all think? I think Saba slash Bodrog should be uh, restored, but you know, I mean, I hope it happens, but there are a bunch of World War One vintage warships that are basically sitting derelict so yeah but until next time this was j-man time signing off